Cities or events that would like to get an F-16 flyover have to get Pentagon approval several months in advance. Boy, you hear those coming and there's just Ooh. nothing like an F-16 flyover to start a parade. About two or three years ago, we had the F-16s in North Salt Lake. They do it on the 3rd of July, the big fireworks. Mm -hmm. And not only that, but they had the refueler and it oh. flew right over the top of the Eaglewood Golf Course. Oh, Neat. absolutely incredible. Hey, how about the fire? Wow. This is what you call getting wet. They do this in Kaysville as part of the parade. It's it's not, you get wet. That's part of the parade. And this truck was full of water. And it was hot. High temperature of 88 today. Not the 101 we had yesterday, but a lot of fun. You get wet when you go to Kaysville, that's for sure. Let's look at Live 5 Vortex and see where the thunderstorms are right now. Let's zoom in. We had some uh, wet thunderstorm and very heavy rain. I wonder if they got it on the Stadium of Fire. It was between 9 and 9.30. It's gone now. Guess where it is right now? It's over there, right in the uh, Heber Valley. We have another cluster of thunderstorms out here, but typically this time of the night, they tend to die out. So we'll see if they hold together and head towards the Wasatch Front. Now, I have to show you something very incredible. We looked at Snowbird's water. Now, the 1st of June, there was 75 inches of water in the snow at Snowbird. At 5 p.m. today, there was 14 inches. You say, Dan, so what? Well, let's look at it. Let's go back to this morning. Three inches of water left that snowpack today. Let's go back to the day before. There was 23 inches at 5 a.m. on the 3rd. There was 29 inches at 5 a.m. on the 2nd. How about 35 inches on the 1st of July at 5 a.m. And back on the 28th of June, 47 inches of snow water in the snow, which means we lost 33 inches of water in the snow because of the heat over a period of seven days. That's four to five inches of water a day. No wonder Little Cottonwood Creek is full and Big Cottonwood as well. Driest to nine days of the year, June 28th through July 6th, there is a three to 10% chance for measurable precipitation during the 24-hour period midnight to midnight. So right now we're smack dab in the middle of the driest time of the year. So the question is, will we get measurable precipitation? Possibly. Temperatures today. Eden, 81. It was 100 degrees in Moab. Montpelier, Steve Kuhn says, a little bit of rain. He cannot go out and uh, bale the hay because there's just enough water and just enough humidity. He can't do it. So that's what they have to do up there in the Bear Lake Valley to make a living. Uh, Northeast Ogden, Jeff James says high of 85. Scott says 89 in Ogden. And uh, Larry Matthews says 96 in St. George. 96, that's 11 degrees cooler than yesterday. 10 p.m., yeah, it's going to be 80 degrees, 75 by 7 a.m. and 82 at noon, mostly cloudy, a thunderbolt possible, 90 degrees, and scattered thunderstorms tomorrow, Wednesday, 92, and again, scattered thunderstorms as the monsoonal moisture is rotating around this ridge of high pressure. You can kind of see the center of circulation. During the afternoon heating, the thunderstorms boil up, and then they kind of die out at night. And so over the next 24 to 48 hours, once again, we'll see the same scenario. These thunderstorms, little disturbances rotating around that will continue to bring a chance for showers and some thunderstorm activity. Here's where we are going into the morning hours, and then by afternoon, we get the buildup of showers and thunderstorms, and then they die out overnight. Here we are Wednesday morning. By Wednesday afternoon, there they are again, developing and popping and dropping. A little higher chance Tuesday and Wednesday for those showers and those thunder showers. Okay, so as we look at the forecast, we look at the forecast. <laughs> the computer seems to not like, there we go, a little bit slow on the forecast. We'll just kind of zip through these things. Sometimes the computer freezes on me. 90 in Beaver tomorrow, 106 in Mesquite, a couple of hundreds. Thunderstorms through Sunday across the northern part of the southern part of the state. The north, we get those afternoon developing thunder showers. You can see them right there. 90 for a high tomorrow and a quick, quick, quick. The computer will only go so fast. <laughs> Peak, upper 80s to low 90s. Showers and thunder showers possible for seven days. That's a busy week. All right. Yeah, sorry about that. I went, uh, computers just being slow.